Hi, in this video I would like to show you updated designs for bit placing view. My name is Tomasz and the topics that I'm going to cover in this video are general view changes, NFT card changes, open auction view, English auction view and fixed price view and also the differences between those three. Um, first off, I would like to tackle the general view changes. What you can currently see is an old version of that view from the previous video. After feedback under the previous video, uh, we agreed that the top uh, navigation and the left sidebar are unnecessary in this case because it may be distracting for our user and if they want to see it again, uh, they are just one click away. So we got rid of them. We've also introduced that bottom bar uh, visible right here just to make sure that the call to action button is not hidden on the smaller screen resolutions. There is also this information uh, about withdrawals but I will come back to it later in this video. Uh, next there are some minor changes in the NFT card. We got rid of the padding that was uh, around our thumbnail and <clears throat> yeah, so we can keep them cons consistent across whole platform. Uh, and as mentioned in the previous video, we wanted to give the bidder a sense of belonging to a special community. Uh, but since uh, NFTs are kind of unique and one of one, we couldn't use the list of collectors of that NFT, uh, but we wanted to maintain that sense of belonging. So we've changed the collectors label to community label uh, and we, could, we can display creators following. Uh, and by the way, the holographic effect from the previous video stays. I just didn't include it in this prototype as it would take additional time to change it uh, every time. But we will do that after we have the final version of uh, the card. And let's now jump to the right side of the screen. Uh, we tried to design that section uh, so it looks almost the same for every type of auction. So let's start with the open auction. The biggest change here is that we've introduced royalties section uh, to be clear from the start on how the bid is going to be distributed. Uh, and also we can use it as a as some kind of motivator to support uh, the creator and by the NFT. Uh, the other thing introduced here is the information about the withdrawal possibility saying that in this type of auction the user will be able to withdraw the bid if the user doesn't accept it after a certain amount of time. But we were not sure yet uh, how much time it was, so I just put, put uh, X as a placeholder for the sake of this video. Uh, but I will change it after we clarify that. And uh, this view is visible for the user when nobody has bid yet and there is a reservation price. Uh, if there is no reservation price on that NFT auction, we just hide that row. And when somebody places a bid, uh, what would change here is that this box would display the uh, current bid amount and the name of uh, currently winning bidder to entice competitive bidding and to basically prevent outbidding yourself. Uh, and that's it for the open auction, uh, but so let's jump into the English auction now. The only thing different from the open auction here on this view would be the timer uh, visible at the top right corner that shows how much time is left before the auction ends 
and the information uh, that the user won't be able to uh, withdraw uh, the bid after placing it. And when the uh, auction is close to an end, the timer would just simply turn red. And the last auction type here would be the fixed price, which is basically a buy now option. Uh, it only includes the timer or not if, uh, if the owner um, didn't want to uh, didn't want this auction to end on a specific date, uh, price, royalties, and also the uh, price breakdown. And you may have noticed that uh, there are no scenarios where the, there is a buy now option and place bid option visible on the same screen. And, uh, that is because we didn't want the user to be able to place a bid or buy the NFT on the same screen because they already chose what they want to do before they entered that screen. And we didn't want to plant that seed of hesitation again and distract them from pur purchasing. Uh, and I think that is it. Uh, the rest of the flow remains the same uh, as in the previous video. And there are uh, a few more mutations of that screen uh, in our Figma file. For example, uh, what happens or how we could display some errors uh, when uh, the user wants to bid a lower amount than, than our minimum. Uh, but these are not as crucial as those I presented. Uh, so I will just uh, leave you a link under this video and you can check it uh, out whenever you want and to provide feedback. And every screen is, uh, is described. Uh, so if you are looking for a screen for the open auction that uh, doesn't uh, have any bids yet but has the reservation price and you want to see uh, how it would look like when the price is not filled yet then uh, this would be this one uh, yeah so i am looking forward for your feedback and see you next time